Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, press subscribe. I'm going to show you how to do this hair today. I grew my hair out years ago, so I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks and we have a giveaway at the end, so stay tuned. Um, I'm starting with freshly washed hair. I used the um, Redken Color Extend shampoo. I love this shampoo and the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner. This is my favorite one and it's actually really cheap on Amazon and safe, so I'll leave that link. Excuse my nails, um, quarantine vibe. So I'm starting with this Tangle Teaser I got. I really love it. And I always brush my hair when it's wet from bottom to top. Just because like when your hair is wet, it um, is the most fragile. So you want to make sure you're like not pulling on it too much. It's very elastic when it's wet. And yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Just brushing it bottom to top. I have a lot of hair. It's all my real hair. No extensions, nothing. So typically this part takes me a little bit, but it's really important. And yeah, love the Tangle Teaser. I'm also going to use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is like my favorite leave-in conditioner. It makes your hair smell really good. I've been using it for like years. And I'm just going to brush that through and use the My Amazing Blow Dry Spray. This you can only buy at salons, but we love it. Support your local salon and pick this up. It's so, so good. Makes your blow dry go so much faster. Makes your hair smell amazing. These two products I need to use in my hair. So I'm also going to use a little bit of perfume. I'm not sure if this is like super healthy for your hair, but I do it anyway. I'm going to just put a little bit on my brush and then I'm going to brush all of those products through just to make sure it's like evenly distributed. This is like the primer for your hair right here. I'm going to use my Rusk Speed Feet. Oh my God, I can't say that. Speed Freak Blow Dryer and these little like hair coils. They are amazing if you don't want to leave dents in your hair and I'm just going to part my hair there. Um, I only really use those hair coils for... Um, like to tie my hair up now not a normal elastic it just works better so i'm gonna first like finger through my hair to blow dry it just it's like nothing too crazy but then i'm gonna use my round brush to kind of like give it more of a blowout style this just makes it like a little bit less frizzy and it's a lot easier to completely style afterwards but like i said i have a lot of hair so i kind of just like mess with it first and then blow dry over it especially the front pieces i like to keep a little bit more volume there so i'm gonna use that round brush and that is my hair blow dried ready this right here is like the key if you want your hair to hold curls longer. The Redken Hot Sets 22 is an amazing product. Um, I love it. So I'm going to just give like two or three sprays throughout my hair and then I'm going to brush it through. This kind of gives like a waxy consistency, but that's okay because it really helps hold curls. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. And while I let it sit, I'm actually going to part my hair. I know this is extra, but get over it. I'm going to part my hair and I'm going to straighten just like the top inch or so of my hair with my eye on one stroke i love this straightener if you were looking for a new straightener that is the only one i would recommend honestly it's super affordable for a straightener and it just works so good i love it and like i said i'm just gonna do the like the first inch or so of my hair just to get those frizzies out i feel like it makes like it just makes the whole look come more together and it's not obviously necessary but i do it because i'm extra like hair flip duh Okay, now we're going to get into the actual curling. So like I said, I'm going to part my hair again. Um, really easy. My brother's hair coils, lifesavers. And I'm going to brush it through. And I'm going to use my Hot Tools 1 inch iron. This one just works the best. The 1 and a four quarter inch, I don't know, doesn't hold curls as long. So my tip is to maybe like hold your curl a little bit longer whenever you're actually curling it. And then using a smaller iron will give you a tighter curl. But if you have longer hair, like the, that curl obviously is not going to stay like that. It's going to fall out a little bit, which is like what kind of what you want to get that loose curl vibe so i'm gonna repeat that around my whole head and then i'm gonna use a little bit of this um sexy hair hairspray i love the smell of it i'll link it below it's so amazing that is the look that is the curls and i'm just gonna repeat that on the top of my head making sure i like brush through my hair before i do it so that my curls are like smooth and just they'll, they'll last longer if you do it this way now I'm going to move on to the other products that I use like with my hair. Um, like I said, I use that hairspray. I really love it. That whole line is just amazing. The rose oil, but um, that's the finished look. And then I'm going to add two more products to give me a little bit of volume. First, it's the L'Oreal um, Root Cover Up. Love that stuff. If you have grays, you need it. And then this is actually just shine oil for curls. My stylist put me onto this and it's so amazing that like, you can actually see the difference there and it just gives a little shine. And then lastly, I'm going to use the Batiste Divine Dark um, Dry Shampoo. Obviously, 
obviously my hair is completely clean I don't need this but it does just add like a little bit more texture and volume to your hair and the Batiste brand is amazing if you're looking for a dry shampoo so that is my finished product let's get on to the tips because I have all of the secrets for you of course I do duh Tip number one, um, just stop washing your hair every day. I know this is really, really hard to do, but it will really promote hair growth and you, you're like stripping your hair of natural oils if you're washing every day. So just stop it. You have quarantine right now. You don't need to do it. Just be greasy. And also sleeping with satin pillowcases has helped a lot too with growing my hair because it prevents that breakage while you sleep. So I will leave ones from Amazon Prime I have linked below. They're really, really nice. Also, also, um, take a daily dose of biotin. Um, it'll help your hair, your nails, and your skin grow. Um, don't exceed it because I get really bad stomach aches if I do that, but you should be good. Just follow the directions on the bottle. Next tip, I know this is totally cliche, but drink a ton of water. I drink so much water and I don't really track it. I just constantly make sure I'm drinking water. It is important for just your body health in general, but definitely for hair growth. So here we are. Cheers. Haha. <laughs> also, reduce your heat. I know coming from me, like I just put a ton of heat on my hair. You're like, okay, girl, what? But honestly, it just helps. Maybe put heat on your hair once a week. That's pretty much what I do when I wash it. Giveaway time. Okay, so I'm going to give away one of each of the tools that I used in this video. So a curling iron, a straightener, and also a blow dryer. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, which you should be anyway, because we have fun over here and just comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you're being safe and bye.